Hi, welcome back, oh, everybody. Um, in this short section, I'm going to be talking about the infinity symbol, the power of the infinity symbol, and how we can use it in our lives to bring a great deal of things into balance. Um, one of the things that we're going to be talking about is the male-female, um, the higher self, the lower self. You can use this symbol for a great many things. Um, but first of all, um, I think it would be a great idea to perhaps uh, show you the symbol itself. And I'm holding the card up now so you can take a good look at it. And you can see actually the infinity symbol is indeed a figure of eight laid on its side. Just for the moment, ignore the bar that you see running through it, because I'm going to explain in a short while what that means and what it's for. But I'm going to take it a little step further to start off with. And I'm also, at the moment, actually wearing an infinity symbol. It's a piece of the jewelry that we had made um, that you can actually order if you wish. Or, of course, you could print the symbol out on our website. And actually, um, right at the bottom of the screen right now, you'll see the website with the page where you can find this. And it's the fourth image down. And if you look at the image on the left-hand side, I believe it is on the website, you'll also see that just under the image there's a little piece in blue that says Read More. If you click on that, you'll see how the symbol is broken down, broken down into segments. Now, of course, I'm going to be talking about that now, because as you look at the infinity symbol at this moment in time, actually where we are, or most of us on this planet right now, you'll see that we pointed to the little bar here, but many of us on this planet right now actually have that bar in a vertical position. Now, what that means is basically that the male and the female aspects, or the electric and magnetic aspects of ourselves, are being ignored. They're not integrated into each other. Many people here on this earth plane are more in their male energy or more in their female energy, and they're not balanced. So you see that bar actually represents that piece of ourselves that's not been allowed to integrate itself into our full being. Now, of course, there are a great many people here on this earth plane who are working with the male and the female aspects of themselves, or the electric and the magnetic aspects of themselves, and they have brought it quite a lot into balance. And, of course, that is now what we're showing with this symbol here. And now you can see the, the, the horizontal bar that is actually driving right through the, the center of the infinity symbol. Now, there are more meditations here on YouTube that I've recorded before, especially the one uh, many of you have seen because it's been viewed, I believe, about 2,000 times now. Um, you can see that we're actually working with the infinity symbol when we're working with the heart of our other aspect of ourselves. And when you do that many times and you're working with the bringing into balance of yourself to two aspects of yourself, Actually, what you'll see is that that little bar disappears, and then it becomes just the infinity symbol. And actually, what you're seeing, if you look at it with your eyes closed and you allow it to cross your vision, you'll see that there's a gold and a silver energy coursing around this figure of eight. Now, there's another beautiful aspect of this. As these two particles of yourself come fully into balance, then there's something really beautiful happens because you step out of, if you will, the duality of male, female, or electric, magnetic, both are balanced, and then it becomes what we call the complete self, or the triality self. Now imagine with me for a moment that we have an elastic band, and we have it in the figure of the eight, and of course you're holding it, the rubber, you're going to need to hold it there. But as soon as you lift your finger, what happens to that elastic band? it retains its former shape. And what is that shape? It becomes a circle. And the beautiful thing about that, that is exactly what happens once you have these three aspects of yourself in balance, it becomes the circle of one. No beginning and no end. Now, just to show you one more time, as you see the infinity symbol, it circulates there. 
And imagine that it's an elastic band and I take my finger off it, it then becomes a circle. Now, I hope you enjoyed this little explanation of what's going on with the feminine and masculine selves, or the electric and the magnetic selves. And in the next video that I'm going to be recording, I'm going to be talking more about the twin flame symbol, which is actually indeed triality. Um, I take it a little bit deeper, but now you have the understanding of the infinity symbol. Remember, it is not only the masculine and the electric self, it can also be your higher self if you, add, if you put it, if you will, in the figure of eight this way. You can actually use it to merge your higher self with your lower self, or your brain with your heart, or your thoughts with your feelings. So you see there is a great deal of power within this infinity symbol and if you're willing to work with it and see that energy coursing through it, the gold and the silver, it's always going to be bringing these two aspects, whichever you choose it to be, it's going to be bringing it into the center, into balance. Enjoy. Thank you for listening. Until the next time. Namaste.